What is up guys, Scarp80 here, and today I am bringing you guys what in my opinion is the best miner deck. So perhaps you have just unlocked the miner and I'm going to tell you one of the best decks that I have found on how to use this guy right here that you can see on the right of the screen and in the very cent center of the battle deck. That is the battle deck. Um, you can also see it on the left while I'm battling and it consists of the fireball, the goblins, the inferno tower, the minion horde, the the hog rider, the miner, the zap spell, and the barbarians. Now, of course, you can switch out, um, and I think this would actually be better. Uh, I haven't really tried it yet, but it probably will be better. Um, the guards instead of the goblins, and the deck would still be really cheap. Um, just a 3.9 deck, so go ahead and try that. Um, of course, these this deck is one of the harder decks to use. Minor decks are one of the hardest decks to use. But I mean, I found it that it was easy for me. It was, I think I found my playing style. And uh, yeah, maybe this will help you a lot. Um, I hope that this makes you win. I really, I haven't lost much. I, I mean, out of 10 battles, I might have lost two or none. I don't really remember. But yeah, what you want to use, uh, how you want to use this deck is sort of surprise the opponent so right now um, I'm just gonna go in with a hog and some goblins in the back and a zap spell and that's gonna help a lot we are going to get quite a bit of damage I might add to that tower and then the inferno tower is for when you face stuff like giants royal giants and balloons um, which are very common in this arena seven like as you saw right there dropping those barbarians was very unnecessary so that's why i said oops um and you always want to have an elixir advantage right there i should not have sent the miner in alone right there he is going to get a bit of damage off but the way you want to use the miner with this deck is either miner hog or minor minion horde if you can draw out the guy's arrows somehow then you can use the minor hog or the minor minion horde now right here this was a terrible uh, inferno tower placement because it did not target the giant and that's why i gave him a sad face right there crying face and um He's going to take that tower because of that bad Inferno placement. Um, but yeah, you always have to defend. And then when you think you have the Elixir lead, um, you have to attack with what I prefer is the Minor Hog Rider. That's the one I prefer right now. Um, that's the main attack I'm using. Alright, so my Barbarians are going to head in over towards the top but the witch and the bomber are going to take them out really really quickly you're going to use the same regular push with the miner and the uh the hog rider on the right and he's going to defend with a bunch of cheap troops and that was an amazing push right there we got the tower to 134 hp left going to defend that really quickly now i'm just going to send a couple of my goblins to defend his goblins because they can't do a lot of damage he sent a giant so i'm going to send an inferno tower and uh, he's going to send in a hog on the left. I'm not going to do anything about that because the giant just melted. And so the hog is going to get a lot of damage off. But um, I, I have the elixir lead now, which is good. I'm just going to send my miner in to take that tower out. Um, and then right now I am going to just defend a little bit. And then we are going to try and push on from there. I'm going to use my minion horde because I knew that the inferno tower was about to die. He's going to arrow. Um, but a little bit too late because now my hog rider is heading in by himself towards the tower and he is just not going to do anything about that. I zap to get one more hit off with the barbarian and with the hog rider right there. I'm going to place an inferno tower just in case. He's going to place a hog rider right there which was not the smartest move. I would have placed something like goblins in there because the hog rider got taken out and the inferno tower still lived to tell that story right now i'm just gonna go with the regular minor hog rider push and that is going to be the win right there i was under a lot of pressure because of the 460 left on my king's tower and uh right now we started well in this match but then through the match we didn't do so well but at the end we were able to steal the win um and that was awesome so without further ado let's head on to the second of three replay Alright, so we're going against I don't know, man, um, and he is using the giant also um, with uh, it's a, it's kind of a weird deck. That 
it's giant with the elixir pump and then he has uh the zap and some goblins with the wish and some archers so right now i'm just i didn't have a good starting hand um sometimes what you want to do is not show the miner yet um like not show the miner at all and uh just uh use the hog rider right there i zapped um, because I just wanted to uh, shuffle more cards um, and it was a good zap because of the elixir collector I reset that the miner with the barbarians is going to be an amazing play he was definitely not expecting that and now the barbarians are going to leave that tower um, so that I can fireball it and uh, he said well played it was a good play to be honest I mean now he's going to go with a giant witch um, play he's going to zap my inferno tower I'm gonna use barbarians zap him back and uh, the giant will not get far. Um, he might get one hit off, but that is going to be it. And now the witch is only a couple shots away from my tower. Uh, and that will be the end of that. That was a very good trade of uh, elixir and stuff. Um, I do have the elixir lead, but not my much... Practically, he is the elixir lead because he has an elixir collector down. But right now, what we are going to do is just send our miner in and take that tower out. And then we were going to fireball that, but um, we didn't have to. We didn't have to fireball the tower. So we are just going to fireball the musketeer with the... Um, with a fireball, I guess, and then we're gonna send our goblins in to take her out. I'm gonna zap uh, that witch, I think. Maybe no, we're not gonna zap that. But uh, we defended well. This guy's barely touched our towers. I think it was only one giant hit. Um, and yeah, right now we are going to start again with our barbarians in the back, and then we are going to go off with a small push maybe with a miner and the hog rider and then look at the value we are going to get for this fireball goblins musketeer and elixir that was that's probably like the best value you could get for um, a fireball in matches like these. So we're going to place an Inferno Tower, which was definitely not necessary at all. Um, but now all we have to do is defend the Witch with the, uh, the Archers and the uh, the, the Musketeer. The Place Barbarians. I did waste Elixir there, but that was because I wanted to place the Barbarians exactly right. Now that I know that we are going to be able to defend that, I'm going to go with my Minor Hog Push. Um, you're going to defend that really quickly, and uh, that is going to be it. <laughs> he said good game. I did want to get the two-star because of the crown. I'm going to send my miner in. That way he doesn't take the tower, and he didn't in the end. Um, but yeah, I kind of... That, I, that might have been a little bit mean because I uh, I didn't want... I mean, I wanted to get the two-star, and I didn't let him even get the one crown for his crown chest so i mean i could have let him do that um but yeah it was still a very fun match uh, these matches keep you on your toes i think that's how you say it um we're gonna go into this one and uh what we are going against andrew kasuma and I think that at this point you guys are understanding how this deck is used. You just kind of defend and then sort of surprise this guy, um, the other guy, with your miner and your hog rider. Um, and the zap is very useful too. If you're going against something like the Royal Giant, you got the Inferno Tower. Something like the Three Musketeers, you got the Fireball and the Zap. Um, so yeah, this deck is very good at countering everything. Um, so right there, we were able to stop his push with the minion horde. He fireballed, um, but that wasn't really enough. Gonna go with a miner right there, and I honestly, I don't think I should have done this play, but it was still a pretty good play. We're gonna fireball, I do believe, and that is going to be some great value for that fireball. We got a lot of damage to, thanks to those barbarians, and uh, sadly, we were not able to take down those spirit goblins, but we are going to defend those with our goblins now. The reason why I'm defending uh, a couple of spirit goblins is because I normally wouldn't with other decks, but with the, with this deck, sometimes matches come down to like hundreds of hit points, and if you leave some spirit goblins alone, they could do like around what like 300 or 400 damage to your tower, and that's not good. That is not good at all. Like it does make a huge difference towards the end of the match. I tried to split my barbs, but only one went to the left. 
He's going to try and push over there. I'm going to use my Inferno Tower this time. Zap all of that. Um, and now he only has a couple of of uh, minions and some and a musketeer i honestly shouldn't have placed that uh i mean you know that was a good i'm sorry I, I, that was a very good play because he placed his um he placed his wizard on the right side so i kind of saw that it was a a very good time to place my minion horde but he was able to distract well he's gonna play some goblins to take care of that wizard a little bit sooner and right there we are still in the lead um, and we are going to go on with a minor pu minor uh, hog rider push. Look at this fireball. Look at that value. Value from that fireball. The zap is going to take care of all of those. I had not seen the barbarian. If it wasn't for that barbarian, um, I would have been able to do so much. I mean, he wouldn't have gotten uh, nearly as much as what he did get. Um, and so right now, he's just one fireball away because of that fireball right there. Uh, minion horde was a terrible play because he's gonna counter that directly with his wizard um, But right now I guess you could say that he's in the lead because my right tower is at 1466 and This tower is only a fireball away. We're gonna defend the right side um, Because we don't want any more damage happening to that side and he's just gonna fireball I was crossing my fingers so that he wouldn't I placed my inferno tower over there so that the fireball wouldn't harm it and uh, right now we are going to go with a minor hog rider push over there. The hog rider will get distracted because of that. That was such an unlucky zap. If I placed it one millisecond later, um, then the zap would have uh, would have killed those minions. But we did get a lot of damage off. Now we're going to place another inferno tower just because we have it in our hand. And uh, the hog rider is not going to get near that tower at all. Now we have regained the lead against the level nine. And we're going to go with the same old push, minor hog rider, uh, zap. We zapped, but we didn't zap the uh, barbarians. We're going to fireball that. That was a good fireball. Um, and right now I am trying to fireball, but I'm also getting troops to his tower. So it's not like me being a rocket user or something like that. going to do the same thing again because I know that it's the time is running out. He's just kind of going to focus on attacking right there, but this is going to be the win for us. And, uh, yeah, that was a pretty cheeky play at the end. I was about to zap his musketeer and wizard on the right. Um, but, yeah, pretty cheeky play on on my part. And uh, that is how you win with this deck. So awesome. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the deck again. Um, I hope that this worked for you. This is one of the harder decks to play. But it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. And, um... It really catches some people by surprise and it's great for defending um, so yeah right now I am just gonna give a couple of shout outs to two of my clan mates that have uh, started their own YouTube channels Roger Cactus the, that does Clash Royale and Plants for Zombies and McBest Boy which does mine uh, no I don't know if he does Minecraft but he does do Clash Royale um, and so if you want to see a super magical chest and a giant chest from Arena 3 be opened, then go subscribe to this channel. I think he says 50 subscribers and he will open those up. Um, so yeah, go subscribe to both of them, Roger Cactus and McBest Boy. Um, I'm going to leave the their channels in the description box down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm close to hitting 1,000 subscribers. So yeah. Once again, Scarp80, out.